Hey guys, welcome back to Lumen Detailing, the YouTube channel. So today I went to AutoZone, walked around the aisles, and man, seeing some of the stuff just kind of gave me that feeling of nostalgia because I these are stuff that I used to use or brands that I used to use and still currently use actually. Um, so I want to try it out. One of the things I bought was on sale, it was $6, and that's kind of what started this whole thing. I said, wow, this bottle looks cool, $6, I'll buy it. And then I said, well, if I'm buying this, I should just buy this, and it kind of snowballed from there. So yeah, here's what I got. Rio's Ceramic Wash and Coat, my friend Rodrigo uses this, so I said, hey, might as well try it. And they're a pretty good company and this is the bottle that got me to buying the other stuff and in this from Meguiar's I never even knew that they had this detailer line so I'm gonna try it out see how it is also this channel is not sponsored so that was kind of funny that someone commented that in one of my videos and I wish it was that would be cool Anyway, these stuff, very inexpensive. Like I said, $6 for that thing. And AutoZone always has sales. They also offer a 10% military discount. Again, this is not sponsored. I'm just saying that that's what they do. Is they offer military discount. So my wheels are not super dirty. So we're just gonna use this and do a, uh, I guess, contactless wash on the wheels because they're ceramic coated at carbon ceramic brakes so it doesn't really get that dirty but we're gonna try it anyway Not bad. Your results may vary because my wheels are ceramic coated and add carbon ceramics so they don't really put out that much brake dust. But overall not bad. All right the Fords here are like super small but I can see at least four ounces into this thing. So I already opened the inside should come right out so four ounces it's about there Let's see this is like a scientific experiment nope not quite it's kind of a lot four ounces yeah it's about four ounces it's eight right here we're halfway there so now let's get some water in here me, I think the best way to get water is just like this. Alright, I think that should be good to fold the car up. Okay, now for the two bucket method, it says two ounces of ceramic, which I don't know if it's gonna be enough because I mean, we did five ounces in there barely did anything I mean sometimes some washes don't foam up like a uh, polish angel I know their soaps don't foam up so let's see how this one goes
All right, overall, I would say that the Griots, Griots ceramic wash and coat is pretty good at the bucket wash method, but I would say I would use something else for the pre-soak because as you saw, it, just, it didn't really get anything off the car because of how watery it was, but the car wasn't that dirty to begin with, so I guess it's okay when your car's not super dirty but other than that came out pretty good and it definitely added some sort of protection because I could tell the water was just flying away from the from the leaf blower I mean it typically does that anyway because it's coated but man it really reinvigorated the coating so now we're gonna do is use this as a um, drying aid with this I think this one was Polish Angel I don't remember the brand of this but yeah let's do it So I also used the quick detailer for the door jams and what I did was I sprayed it on this microfiber madness wash mitt. It's brand, I mean it's not brand new but it's recently washed and I think it just cleans a little bit better than the microfiber cloth and I can just wipe everything out. I mean super easy keep your door jams clean so that they don't get super jacked up and it gets really hard to clean after a while but yeah it looks pretty good also I noticed that my daughter wiped a booger on the Alcantara so we're gonna do the interior now I'm gonna use the normal products I use which is CarPro inside and Bella Clean from Polish Angel and yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one